You now have in hand the free downloadable PDF that's available from Iowa State University Extension and Outreach website, a burn plan. And we now have to step through each of those individually, and this is done well before the burn ever begins. With that, you look at hazards that are on the site. What's there that your personnel need to know about? You also detail how are you going to communicate with these folks? Are you going to rely on cell phones? If so, do you have every member's number? Or are you going to have and provide two-way walkie-talkies? How much water are you going to need? What's the access like to get a tractor and a tank or a truck and a tank into the site? Or are you going to have to rely on backpack pumps? How are you going to put fire on the ground? What's the safest way? Are we going to use a backing fire? And if so, how many individuals are you going to need? Are you going to need multiple torches? All of this needs to go into a burn plan. Most of that is going to be dictated by the size, the amount of fuel, and the topography of the land. Now, on the day of the burn, there is a go, no-go checklist, and you need to follow that. You need to go right down through that list. It's going to look and ask you, is the weather appropriate? If you check no, you're done for the day. If you have contacted everybody around there, you will mark that down. If you've contacted EMS, you will mark that down. It goes all the way down through all of the critical aspects of that burn plan. And if there is a checkbox in the no section, you need to step back and evaluate if today is the best day to burn. With that, with a written burn plan, notifying your neighbors, waiting for the weather, and knowing when to shut the fire down or when never to light the fire, you're off to a very safe start. And that's what this prescribed burn plan is going to give you. Once you've worked through that and written it down on paper, you need to follow it. If you don't follow it, things can go wrong. There's a few key equipment pieces that you need to have on hand and that the personnel need to have access to if you're gonna have a successful and safe burn. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has put together a free downloadable publication that you can print off that showcases all of the available hand tools out there on the market. 